Jack. Yeah. You like Swiss cheese? Of course. Okay. It's got holes in it. That's not why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the holes taste delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what happens if we turn Earth into Swiss cheese. Really? Yes. Okay. Into something that looks like Swiss cheese, not that is Swiss cheese. Uh, you know, either way, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> So, Chuck, I think long ago we did an explainer on what happens if you dig a hole through Earth. Yes, and, we did. And come out the other side. Absolutely. Okay. Do you remember how that ended? It ended with um, you flooding all of North America. <laughs> yes. If I, if I recall, <laughs> dug the hole through, and it didn't come out in China. It came out in the Indian Ocean. And, you remember that. And so, we so, ended up uh, flooding America. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Because yeah. as kids, it was a dig a hole to China. Right. Right. Because that's like the, yeah, other, side the other, other side of the earth. earth. Technically, you want to go through the center, center of, the of the earth to come out the other side. Right. That's what that would be. Right. Well, if we are in the northern hemisphere mm -hmm. and you dig a hole through the center, you're going to come out in, in the, the southern, southern hemisphere. hemisphere. If we're in the western hemisphere, you're going to end up in the eastern okay. hemisphere. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. Right. We pop open in the Indian Ocean and then all the water falls in. Right. That's what are you worried about that. Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Do you remember how long that trip takes? Let me see if I can recall. It's the same as the space station goes around yes, the Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. So it'll take you 45 minutes to go the complete diameter of the Earth and come out the other side. Right. And then you'll and fall you back, back through. Because through. Okay, so you accelerate down through to the center, and then you'll decelerate on your way out. But that whole trip, 45 minutes, 45 minutes, 90 minutes. Wow. 90 minutes, which is interesting because we could just sit here I pop you through a hole, you go to the other side of the earth, at the end of my 90 minute movie, you come back wet from <laughs> having been in the, <laughs> in the, in the ocean. ocean. That's a weird fact, Yeah, but it's true. So that time is the same time it takes anything in low earth orbit to complete an orbit. The mathematics works out that way. You know what else works out that way? No. If you cut any hole between any two points on earth, it's a 90 minute trip. Whoa, uh oh. Wait a minute. I'm now confused. Because first we were going the diameter yes. of the Earth. Yes. Okay. And that's from point to point on opposite sides. Opposite sides. But if we go up this circle and then I cut a hole. Yeah. You're not going through the center. I'm just going straight across. Straight across. But it's a much shorter distance. Yes, it is. So why wouldn't it why would it take the same amount of time? Because you're is you're there, not falling towards the center of the Earth. So the gravitational difference? It's a, yes. It, the, for, the force accelerating you is less. Get out! And it's less by exactly the right amount to cancel how much shorter the distance is. Come on. You stop it right now. Get out of here! gravitational physics, fun. That is amazing! Yeah, yeah so if, we, if we're here in New York, right? if we cut a hole Straight to Los Angeles. You would jump in the hole. We'd have tracks. You right. know, put you on a track. Yes, exactly. And this, frictionless tracks. Right. Like, okay? Then Earth will just pull you in, into the hole, because you are getting closer to the center of the Earth, so it's going to accelerate you. You're falling, but not as fast as you would in a direct hole down to the center. And you'll get to the midpoint, which will be under Kansas somewhere, and then you'll decelerate on your way out. You'll get to Los Angeles 45 minutes later. It'll be the fastest way to get to Los Angeles. I love it. These things are called gravity trains. A gravity train? They've got names. People gravity all train. over the world. <laughs> Join in <laughs> on a gravity gra train. train. <laughs> gravity train. <laughs> <laughs> That's the OJs, people. Yes. From the, from the 1970s, I think. Is it? Yes. Wow. Not even the 80s. I, I know it from Soul Train. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So you would do this, and you, you want to make it friction. If you have friction there, that'll eat up some of the efficiency of this. So maybe you have, like, magnetically levitated rails right, or something. Right. But, uh, yeah. 90 minutes. It's pure gravity. Pure it gravity. It will use no energy at all. Oh, wait, wait a minute. You needed the energy to dig the hole in the first place. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, but once you did it, you, it's just you just falling, and you just falling through. Yeah, and so you're falling, and then the fall towards the center of the earth. But you, you you'll like 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 a hill. If you're on a hill, it's a it's a hill. Yeah, right. Ex ex yeah. Ex like a skateboarder, except and a half pipe. You're not going down and up. It's a straight line. It's a straight line. 
you can look through and you see Oh, that you is see Hollywood. so dope. It's a straight line through the earth. That's amazing. Yes. yes. Have you told your friend about this? Oh, Elon. Yes. He has some awareness of this. We chatted about flying cars. And I said flying cars are not realistic because what are they intended to solve? Traffic. Traffic. Right. Okay. So all you have to be is not in the same plane as where the traffic is. So you fly up above and now you bypass all the traffic. Ah, so well, that's why Star Wars, when you look at the traffic on Star Wars, it's all these lanes of okay. flying cars right. on well, different levels. Once you add a dimension to it, right. then you're no longer limited to the boundaries of a two dimensional surface. Right. Okay. So that's what the New York City subway is. It is motion in another dimension. It's not beholden to traffic on the surface. That's true. What is an overpass to a freeway? It's it is another, another dimension. It's, it's in the on third the dimension. So they don't have to wait for your ass to cross. Right. So what we really need are more tunnels and bridges, not flying cars. Right. Think about that. Okay. You've been in some cities, if you're a big driver, they have express lanes that go through the city. That's on a different level from the other lanes that have all the exits. Washington, D.C. They have an underground expressway. Okay. And it's express for that purpose. That is a flying car. Oh, man. It has all the math of a flying car. Worst flying car <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. So, if you dig tunnels through everything, that's tantamount to a flying car. Wow. It's less noisy. And what happens if your engine fails? You slow down to a stop. <laughs> It's problematic. <laughs> <laughs> I Come like gravity, gravity train trains much better than... It's beautiful, just... but that's a very Swiss cheese earth at that point. Plus, it's hotter as you go lower, so you, it's, it has its challenges. But the physics will enable it in the end. It's just engineering at that point. 90 minutes. 45 minutes to L.A. Oh, it's 45? Yes. Because it's a 90-minute round trip? Yes. Oh, man. 45 minutes to L.A. You go there for lunch, come back. It takes oh. 45 minutes to go the length of Manhattan. It takes 45 minutes to get out of your driveway <laughs> in Los Angeles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, where'd you go, man? I went to the mailbox. <laughs> I drove to the mailbox, like, at the end of my driveway. <laughs> Traffic was terrible. <laughs> terrible. So, oh, man. Yeah. I love it. The gravity train. I am happy. And by, and by the way, calculus allows you to show why that's true. I would not know. <laughs> <laughs> why every path through Earth is a 90-minute is a round trip. Wow. And everything cancels out, like I said. And so the biggest distance through the center is where you... Fall the fastest. Right. Because you're it's your free fall all the way down. It almost makes me want to learn calculus. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> but it's fun the way you do that. You, you set up what's called spherical shells mm -hmm. of Earth because every bit of Earth's mass pulls on you. Right. Right. And so, and you do it in spherical shells. You can calculate little bits of it at a time. Right. This piece is attracting you with its own little bit of gravity. Right. And there's another piece that's also attracting you there. Calculus is a way to sum up all of these pieces to get your answer. Basically, you're dividing and conquering the Earth. Dividing and conquering the Earth. Right. That calculus does that elegantly. That's how you find out that these terms cancel. Thank God I have you, so I don't need calculus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm gonna teach this guy, yeah. And without another explainer. Gravity train, and we'll get the OJs to do a <laughs> <laughs> gravity. Too many syllables, though. Yes, yeah, Love exactly. Train. Is there a one word for gravity? Uh, how about the Earth train? Oh well, Earth. It is in the, the Earth. Earth is doing its work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People train. all over the world, <laughs> all over the world, join in on the Earth train. The Earth train. <laughs> 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 all right. Yet another thanks, Chuck. For being here Always a pleasure. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you're a personal astrophysicist. Keep looking up.